Hey, this is Aaron from GameEnthuse.com, and this is Circuit Breakers for the PS4. The tutorial is pretty good, so it made my job a lot easier in this section. Move around with the left stick. You use the right stick to shoot. You can also use the face buttons. Can't imagine why you'd want to use the face buttons, but they are available. And these crystals called Energium, <laughs> they power your gun. They kind of do more than that. Uh, as you gain Energium, it will allow you to level up your weapon. Of course, your actual ammo is made out of the same material. So shooting it depletes your Energium. Yes, I'm reading off the screen. And you also have a shield to trigger with the L2 button. I didn't use the shield a whole lot. That might explain my performance. But yeah, let's jump right in. We're going to start off with with Tay. Tay has a laser. People like lasers. They're popular back in the 80s on picture day. So why not here? Gunning down endless numbers of whatever these things are. So you want to shoot everybody and get out of the rooms and you progress and the number of rooms adds one as, as you continue on. Of course, uh, the laser is quite powerful, but very slow. As I guess a laser would tend to be. You want to collect hearts to uh, replenish your health. And of course, you want to collect Energium, the Energium crystals uh, to keep your uh, keep your ammo high. Then you die and then you unlock challenges that you didn't even know were challenges. And that's how good you are at this game. Or how good. Uh, it doesn't matter. Look at another character. This seems to be like the default character who has a machine gun, which of course is quick. And it being quick means it's not that powerful. Those are called trade-offs. Why am I talking like this? Then you have the character with the shotgun. I don't remember their names. The guns they have are really what's most important here. So you have shotgun, very powerful, nice spread to it. Of course, it's not any good at attacking at extreme distances. You can watch your level go up and down and up and down. I do wish I encountered more enemy types in Circuit Breakers. Uh, I ran into this big disc thing here shooting. I was like, oh, wow, maybe it's a boss. It was not a boss, but it was just nice to see something that I hadn't seen because you see the same enemies. It's slightly different colors over and over again. And then there's stats and stats do what they do. They're really granular. And then there's a time attack mode, which you attack the same levels and you want to go through them as quickly as possible. So yeah, circuit breakers can get a little repetitive. Uh, excels in co-op up to four players. Uh, the energy and resource management definitely made it interesting, kept it fresh. And that's good because the music got kind of repetitive, seeing the same rooms over and over again got kind of repetitive. And then I already mentioned the enemies, but it's fun. Uh, you kind of seen things like it before, but it does have a nice little twist. Feel free to like, subscribe, watch these other videos, leave a comment, do all those things. Watch other videos, leave comments on those and like those as well. You get the idea. Thanks for watching.